Hey, I'm Carbo Brother. I'm Chris Nelson, president at M Carbo. Really excited to introduce the new Remington 597 Trigger Job Pro Kit upgrade for your Remington 597 rifle. Now, this Pro Kit includes our famous Trigger Spring Kit, which will get you about a 20% trigger pull reduction. On top of it, now our Pro A2 Hammer, which will get you that remaining 60% trigger pull reduction. Phenomenal. 80% trigger pull reduction. It is insane. It was really fun. Talk about ear to ear smile testing this thing. Phenomenal. Night and day. Your increased rate of fire is pretty extreme too. You can really put a lot of lead on target accurately. You know, this 22 doesn't have a lot of kick to it. So it's really easy to keep a nice tight group and just let that finger just run. Um, pretty phenomenal. I enjoyed it. So 80% trigger pull reduction. With this new Pro A2 hammer, it's wire EDM cut. If you're not familiar with wire EDM, it can cut to the fourth decimal place. So it is super tight tolerances, insane. And that's what we have to do when we're machining hammers or sears or anything like that. So with the improved hammer and sear engagement surface on this Pro A2 hammer, it actually allows a much lighter trigger pull. That's why we're getting a 60% trigger pull reduction just with the hammer alone, 20% with our spring kit. You guys asked for a little more reduction. So here it is. The Remington 597 Trigger Job Pro Kit Upgrade is the solution you guys have been looking for. Really excited to introduce this. Let's jump on over the tabletop, put this baby in. Parts and tools needed for this build. The Remington 597 Pro Kit by M Carbo. A hammer, 1 8 inch punch, 1 8 inch Allen key, block of wood with a hole in it. And as always guys, make sure you're wearing iPro. Your Remington 597 Pro Kit includes everything you need to take this firearm to the next level. It's insane the amount of performance we're gonna get with these parts. So first off, your Pro Kit includes the Remington 597 trigger spring kit, which is a lighter hammer spring with billet aluminum bushings to replace the plastic bushings that frequently wear out. We've also got the Remington 597 Pro A2 hammer. This is wire EDM machined out of A2 tool steel. Wire EDM will really take it out to the fourth decimal place. Fantastic amount of precision goes into this hammer. So what we've done is we've modified the hammer and sear engagement surface, giving us a much lighter, smoother trigger pull. Fantastic upgrade. Then we've also got the synthetic grease with PTFE. PTFE is Teflon. Fantastic. We use it on a lot of our applications. It's great to put on the hammer sear engagement surface. And then we'll also put it between the bushings and the hammer just to make sure everything's lubricated. Then the hammer assembly drop-in alignment tool. This is a fantastic tool to assist making sure that we've got the springs, the bushings, and the hammer all lined up as we try to drop it in the assembly and make sure it stays in place. Let's go ahead and put these babies in. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and check our firearms together, make sure they're clear, go ahead and drop the magazine. Check the chamber, check the bolt face, check the magazine well, this firearm's clear. Now let's go ahead and check our factory trigger pull, see what we're starting with. I'm gonna insert a snap cap dummy round because this is a rim fire. Wanna save that firing pin. Five pounds, 2.7 ounces. Let's take one more to confirm. Go ahead and reinsert that snap cap. Five pounds, 1.7 ounces. Let's start the disassembly by removing the barrel and receiver group from the stock. Go ahead and turn it upright. We're gonna remove this front and rear takedown screws. Take your 1 8 inch Allen key. Go ahead and start loosening them up. Go ahead and remove the takedown screws. Just remember the rear screw is longer. and the shorter front takedown screw. You can see the difference right there. Front takedown screw, rear takedown screw. Set these aside. Go ahead and separate the stock from the barrel and receiver group. Pull up and out on the stock. Now we need to go ahead and remove the trigger assembly from the receiver. Now go ahead and position your block of wood with the hole in it under the trigger assembly pin. Then take your 1 8 inch punch and your hammer and tap out that pin. Go ahead and set the pin aside. Now go ahead and separate the trigger assembly from the receiver. Let's focus on this trigger assembly. Now before we start taking the trigger assembly apart, let's go ahead and look at a couple things. Very important to take notice of this bend right here on the hammer spring and how it locates behind the hammer. See how it bends in and then it locates just behind the hammer like so. That's very critical. The loop of that spring is behind the hammer. Take notice, this is the magazine well here. So that bend pocket is pointing towards the magazine well. That's a good thing to take notice of. Then also take notice that the legs of the spring on the hammer spring, both of them are behind that hinge pin, right? So they're pointing away from the magazine well. Very important and critical to take notice of. Then you'll see here how the hammer and sear lock into position down below. So very important things to take notice of before we start pulling it all apart, just to give you a good 
warm and fuzzy that you'll be able to get it all back together no problem. All right, let's go ahead and tap out this hammer hinge pin and pull out the hammer assembly. Now take your block of wood and position the hammer hinge pin over top of that hole in the block of wood. Take your 1 8 inch punch and hammer and tap out that hammer hinge pin. All right, set that aside. Now let's go ahead and remove the punch. And take a look at the factory setup as we pull it apart. You can see those plastic bushings there. You can see how those legs of the spring are pointing away from the magazine well and that loop and everything else, right? Okay, good, so we'll set that aside. We won't need any of these components. We're replacing all of this. So we'll set it aside like so. We'll just leave it there in the shot as a good point of reference. Now let's go ahead and open up our pro kit. All right. Okay, there's the M-Carbo trigger spring kit. See the billet aluminum bushings, lighter hammer spring. Oh, this is gonna be nice. All right, now let's go ahead and pull out the Pro A2 hammer. Wire EDM cut out of A2 tool steel, hardened. This is amazing, this is phenomenal, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. All right, so go ahead and take your synthetic grease with PTFE. We're gonna put a little bit on both sides of the hammer. Since we've got it, wanna slicken it up as much as possible. Then we're also gonna put some on the hammer and sear engagement surface here on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the hammer spring and position it just like the factory spring was positioned. See the loop on the back like we discussed before. Now we're gonna take our billet aluminum bushings and drop those right in, both sides, right? Then go ahead and align the holes as much as possible and we'll take our hammer assembly drop in alignment tool and position that. Perfect, that thing's a lifesaver. It really will help with a lot of the frustration with trying to line it all up. Now we need to go ahead and drop it in the assembly, okay? So we've got everything positioned. We've got the loop of the hammer spring behind the hammer. We've got that little bend indentation pointing towards the magazine well. We've got the legs of the hammer spring pointing away from the magazine well. Let's go ahead and just slide in the hammer assembly carefully, keeping it all lined up, okay? Now we'll take our punch and we'll push out that drop-in alignment tool. Just make sure we can see it on the other side. Okay. Pushing the punch all the way through. You might have to guide it. Okay. Just like that. Now we'll take our hammer hinge pin, position that on the opposite end. Take our block of wood and push down on the block of wood. Good to go. I'll go ahead and lock it back and just test it real quick. Nice, Ooh, that feels good. Oh man, yeah, we are in there. All right, let's go ahead and install the trigger assembly into the receiver. Now let's go ahead and insert the trigger assembly into the receiver, make sure your hammer is locked back in position. All right, wanna line up this hole with the hole in the receiver, okay? Go ahead and insert the trigger assembly into the receiver now. And take your trigger assembly pin, drop it right in. Good to go. Now we'll go ahead and turn the assembly upright, install the stock over top of the receiver and barrel group. Take your short takedown screw, put that up front. Long takedown screw, put that in the back. Then take your 1 8 inch Allen key and go ahead and snug them up. Just make sure they're good and snug. Don't over tighten them. Good to go. Now that we got our rifles back together, let's go ahead and do a quick function check. Taking a dummy round, snap cap. Saving our firing pin. Place the weapon on safe. Pull the trigger, nothing, good. Place it on fire, pull the trigger. Oh man, that is nice. Let's see what kind of trigger pull we got. Now let's go ahead and see what kind of modified trigger pull we got. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a dummy round snap cap just to save our firing pin. Look at that, 15.9 ounces. So 16 ounces in a pound, just under a one pound trigger. That is crazy. Now, perfectly safe, just like a fast car can be a little unsafe. This is safe 
in the right hand. So there we go. I wouldn't recommend doing this sort of modification for your child, but if you're using the 597 to do a little hunting or a little performance target shooting, there you go. Let's do one more to confirm. Let's take one more to confirm. Go ahead and put her snap cap dummy round back in there. 15.3 ounces. That is amazing. This is one heck of a trigger pull, guys. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. From five pounds down to one pound, a fantastic trigger pull reduction. 80% trigger pull reduction. This is a massive reduction, night and day difference. It doesn't get any lighter than this. Seriously, this is as light as you can go for this 597. Now, I would recommend do this for yourself, an adult, somebody with some experience, some good trigger finger discipline. This is very, very light. I would not recommend this for a child. If the trigger pull reduction seems like it's too much, I would just recommend going with the spring kit or the hammer by itself. If you're comfortable with a real light trigger, obviously this pro kit's for you. A lot of guys have asked for it, so that's why we made it. We're really excited to introduce it. I had a lot of fun testing it. The rate of fire is insane. I mean, it is definitely a lot of fun. I would highly recommend just giving it a shot. I know I love it. I mean, it's it's phenomenal. You really, it almost feels like a fully automatic weapon when you're up there on the range and uh, you know, it's accurate, high rate of fire, which is pretty awesome. I mean, it it's, doesn't get any better than that. So uh, I enjoyed it. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. Really looking forward to your feedback. Really looking forward to what you guys think about it. Thank you, M. Carbo Brother, for your ideas and your support. And as always, happy shooting.